Welcome to Enjoy Beekeeping, friends. Today is moving day, and uh, we're going to move some of our captured swarms into their permanent hives. And so that's what today is going to be all about. We've got a total of uh, five swarms that are in the swarm traps that we've taken down, that we've either shook out of the fruit trees or taken down off of the trees that we've had on location in the area. And then we've transported them back to the bee yard. And so today we're going to move them out of their uh, swarm traps and we're going to put them in their permanent hives. And each one's a little bit different. This one is actually a split that I made from one of my uh, overwintered uh, colonies from last year. This is an overwintered queen. I captured this colony as a swarm about 10 or 12 miles from here where I live and I just transported them here last year. They did fantastic and so I just made a split from them um, just about, let me see when did I make that. I made the split on April 11th. It's now May 12th, so they've been in the box about a month. And so that's all I'm gonna do is just move them into their permanent hive. And there's something to uh, note as far as the timing of all this goes. Right now, in my part of the country, we're in a, uh, a very strong honey flow, but it's gonna come to an end in about two to three weeks. So knowing that, I, uh, I don't think that they're gonna fill out this entire hive. This is a 14 frame uh, lands hive. Uh, you can download the plans on Dr. Leo's site. And, uh, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in there and I'm gonna put the follower board, I'm gonna give them about maybe, uh, I think they got seven frames in here. I'm gonna give them 10 full frames that they can work. So I'm gonna use the seven here, I'm gonna give them the th three, and then I'm gonna put the divider between uh, the rest of the hive because I really don't think that they're going to, in the, in the next two weeks, I don't think they're gonna explode out of this hive. So I'm in a sense, I'm almost prepping them for winter. I will come back and check on them periodically, um, but after the honey flow shuts off, we go into a dearth and it's very hard for the bees. So they, they just stop building comb. They will not build comb unless you're feeding them and I never feed them. So we're gonna go ahead and just enjoy the ride today as far as transferring them to their permanent home. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I, I think I'll do is I'll just take this hive, set it next to um, where I'm working and then I'm gonna put their permanent one on the rail. The bee yard is going through some changes right now. For the time being, these two hives are gonna be close together. I've got another large Lazutin style horizontal hive that's gonna be its neighbor for a little while. Um, but I'm phasing out all of my Langstroth equipment, all the stackable hives that you may or may have seen in the, some of our previous videos. I still have a few uh, that are parked on some rails. I'm phasing out of those because the lay-in system is by far the best system of beekeeping. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me just move these bees onto the ground and I'll give myself a little room to work. Okay. Okay, I got some weight on them already too. So let's we'll set them there. Let's put the permanent house into place. And aside from moving these hives, the only heavy lifting you're gonna do is when you set your hive up. So I need to give myself just a little more room. I'll do that. I'm gonna need this here. Now you can see that the bees are already coming over to the, the new hive location. Interestingly enough, all right, let's get that on here. How's that look? Now look at, they're already going in. There's nothing there yet. All right, but let's go ahead and get them underway. Got my cover boards. Got my follower board. Ouch. Got me a sliver too. Okay. Let's 
take a picture, show you what I'm doing here. So this is what I'm gonna start them in. And there's my divider board there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start them up. Look at all those bees. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, let's take a picture of our bees. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of bees. So we're just gonna take them out. Uh, I'll inspect them, obviously. This will give me a chance to have a good look and see how well this colony is doing. And we'll start with the easiest frame on the end and remove that. Alrighty. And this colony, again, this was a nuke. I guess you could call it a nuke or a split. Look at that. That's the outermost frame. Uh, this was, uh, I pulled the queen and three frames of bees. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set them in there. They got some brood going in different stages. All right, I'll just go ahead and slide them in here. Get them in their new, new house. And once we get them established, uh, all we got to do is just take the uh, swarm trap out of the out of their site, and uh, it won't concern them anymore. And they'll go into their hive. They'll come in this entrance here. This is where they're used to flying. Oh, look how how well they built out another nice frame of brood. And, uh, and brood, brood production really slows down when the nectar shuts off. And you want your bees to be in tune with the environment. And you want them to raise bees when the nectar flow is strong and you want them to back off when the nectar flow shuts off, and they will. You don't have to do anything except not interfere with them. You just let them do what they do. Look at how well they drew that comb down. So again, this was uh, a colony where I took three frames out of an established hive and the queen. And then I gave them four frames that were empty. So they really built out the, all the frames very well. Look at how well they've built out. It's beautiful. And other than what I'm doing, there's no need to really spend a whole lot of time with them. Everything that I'm seeing looks real good. And I just want to get them in and established and just close the lid and walk away. Let them, uh, let them do their thing. We've still got another couple weeks where everything's just gonna be wonderful for bees. And again, another frame built all the way down. Very nice. We've got two more frames to set in. just a little room okay so we'll take this one and out we go look at that almost built out they got most of it built out nice fresh wax fresh new wax on it just need a little more room to work so I'll remove the frames so I can work and the 
last frame to come out. Frame seven. Boy, look at how nice. All built out. All nice and built out. I'm just doing a quick once over. See how things look. I do see some eggs in the bottom cells. Lots of bees. Queen's doing good from last year. I'll just drop them into place. So they're going to have seven frames that they've built on, and I'm going to give them three additional frames to build on because we still have some good honey flow time ahead. So if they want to build out any more, they've got starter strips, frames with starter strips. And we are just about done. We just got to put one more frame in. So seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the tenth frame right now. We'll encourage them to go ahead and build up on that. And then we are done. Well, let's just make sure the queen is not in the box. And I do not see her yet, so that doesn't mean she's not crawling around, but we're gonna make sure. We're just gonna shake these bees in. Okay. And we'll shake them here. Trying to get them in now. Just want to make sure our queen's not in here before I bounce them. All right, time to close them up. They're buzzing away here about their new home. I guess I should move the camera. And then over here, show you how it's looking. So here's the bees, and we just want to put our cover boards in place, try to get them to nudge out of the way. And this won't take them very long at all to settle in. Uh, we just got to see if we can get these cover boards to fit good. Maybe a larger one there. All right, they'll glue that all together. Like bees do. Okay, so there they are. All covered up, all in place. I do want to have some notes. I'm going to have to come back and get some notes. No paper. There they are. And there they go. They're doing just fine. That's in the same exact spot that they're used to coming back to. And they're going in. Look at that. That didn't even seem like any adjustment period at all for them. They just uh, will continue working business as usual. And I plug the other side up with a Swiffer wipe. 
you could use a uh, disc or you can use uh, paper uh, paper that can sometimes chew through they don't chew through the Swiffer wipes so I use them just use the unscented ones all right so there's one let's continue on we got more to do